to my channel. In this video, I show you guys how to create this makeup look that I'm wearing on my face, of course. And I used the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this eyeshadow palette, but I tell you guys my honest review. You guys know I'm always honest in all of my reviews. At the end of the video, I'll tell you guys my overall review on the palette and how you can win your very own brand new subculture palette as well. So make sure to stay tuned till the end for that. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like me to film next. And also don't forget to follow all my social medias. They're always linked down below in the description box. And yeah, if you guys want to learn how to create this makeup look, and hear my thoughts about this palette then just keep on watching okay so i've already done my brows and my brow tutorial will be linked down below because i always do my brows the same and i've just prepped and primed my eyes with just some concealer and powder now i'm going to be jumping in to the subculture palette and i'm so excited to try this out i know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this palette i haven't really watched any youtube tutorials on it but i've seen all over instagram and twitter everyone going crazy about this saying that there's a lot of fallout a lot of kickback and it's not blending so i'm here to try that for myself but i'm hoping i like it because i love anastasia i love love her eyeshadows i think they're amazing quality so of course you get the little mirror inside and i'm sure you've already seen what it looks like but that's just the inside of the palette and there are a total of 14 shadows in this palette and you also get a dual ended brush in here as well personally i love 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 the modern renaissance palette and the master palette by mario but i find in those palettes that there is a lot of kickback in them so kickback is just basically a lot of fallout within the pan and even with my dose of colors baked browns eyeshadow palette that palette is probably the palette that i get the most kickback with but it's like one of my most pigmented eyeshadow palettes that i own it's amazing and same goes with modern renaissance and the master palette by mario but yeah i'm just gonna jump straight into this eyeshadow palette but i'm so excited to try it out all right so the first thing i'm going to do is pick up my morphe e23 brush and just pick up this shade here called edge and use that as my transition shade i want to do like a green smoky eye kind of look so let's just tap into this and see how we go that isn't even bad what the heck there's barely even any kickback. Have you seen how many times I've tapped into that? Here's a close-up so you can see. There's like barely any fallout. Let me tap again. And that's like normal. I'm just gonna apply that into my transition shade. And I hope it's not patchy or anything though. Oh, look at how pigmented that is. Okay, that is so pigmented. I picked up way more than I needed to. I think that's just because I was tapping into the pan to see how much fuller I would get. Okay, so far it's blending out so easily. Like maybe it's just a um a batch issue where maybe some people got good palettes and some people got bad ones. But honestly, I'm really happy with that shade. Hopefully the other shades are okay as well. Okay, now I'm going in with a fluffy crease brush. This is the Morphe M441. And I'll just be picking up this shade called New Wave and applying that into my crease. But let's just see how much kickback this one will get. So let's just tap into that. That's fine as well. It's got a little bit more kickback than Edge. Here is an up close. As you can see, it's not even that bad. It's like the modern renaissance, honestly. I don't really find much of a difference with the kickback between this and modern renaissance. They both have the same amount of kickback to me, so. This shadow is blending out fine as well. Okay, now I'm just picking up a flat shader brush. This is the Zoeva 234 brush. And I'm just going to be picking up the shade Access. So I'm just going to pounce in there. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's a close-up. That one's just normal as well. I don't find a problem with that shade, so... I'm just going to pack that onto my lids. Okay, look at how pigmented that is. And don't worry, I will be blending it out. So I've just zoomed you guys in so you can have a look close up. I haven't really even gotten any fallout from these eyeshadows. I've just gotten the tiniest bit from the Axis shade that I just applied on my lid. But that is literally it. 
no fallout. If you know me, you know I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love her products so much, especially her eyeshadows. But I will always be honest with you guys and give you guys my, like, <coughs> I've got my voice. But I will always be honest with you guys and give you my honest review all the time. No matter if I love a brand or if I hate a brand, I'm always going to be straight up with you guys and tell you my honest opinion if I love a product or not and how I feel about it and all that stuff. So... I'm just being honest with you guys in this video. So far, I'm loving this palette. I'm seeing nothing wrong with it. Obviously, I'm not trying out every single eyeshadow in this tutorial, but I will do more tutorials in the future using this palette. Okay, so now with another crease brush, this one's a bit more pointed than the one I used earlier. I'm gonna use this to deepen up the crease. And this is just a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to be mixing Axis and New Wave and applying that into my crease. And this will just like help blend in the lid with the crease. Okay, so I'm finding it fine to blend the shadows together. Okay, the only thing I've found is that while blending the crease, it's kind of come off on the lid. If you can see, I'll zoom me in. But it just kind of come off on the lid a little bit while blending the crease. By the way, would you guys like when I do tutorials if I'm this zoomed into my eyes? Let me know. Okay, so the same thing happened with the lid on this eye as well, but not as much as this eye. But I'm just going to go in with my crease brush again and pick up New Wave again and just blend that into my crease. So now I'm just going to apply Axis on the lid once again. And then going in with the M433 brush again and just a little bit of Axis, I'm going to apply that into my crease. Okay, the only thing I find is that you have to be really careful when blending the crease because you can take off a bit of the lid shade or with access in particular. That's honestly the only like downfall I guess you could call it so far of this palette. Now when I'm blending out this crease, it's not really happening on this side, it's more so the other eye on this side. Now just with the Morphe E23 and the transition shade again edge, I'm just going to apply that in my transition shade area again just to make sure everything blends in. Again, I don't get with this shade, especially Edge, barely has any kickback, and I've been seeing people swirling the brushes in it, and it going like crazy, but honestly, for me, it's fine. I feel like it's probably like a batch issue. I don't know. Now I'm just gonna go back in with my flat shader brush and apply the tiniest bit of access again onto my lids. Just blend that out a bit. I'll just see me you guys in. I didn't get any fallout, just the tiniest bit here from Axis. And that's about it. I feel like the shades blended fine, except Axis was a little bit more patchier when blending it. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly apply my foundation, concealer and powder, and then I'll be back with contour and the rest of the tutorial. My face routine is pretty much always the same. I'm just using my NARS Shoe Glow, my Tarte Shape Tape, my RCMA powder and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish powder to set to my face. So it's just always pretty much the same. I'm just going to skip it for this video and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am back and you can see that my face is done and I'm going to go into contour now. So I'm going to be using my Morphe R5 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade light to medium and I'll just be picking up this middle shade here and just contouring my entire face. And now I'm just switching up to a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M139, just to contour my nose. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend out the nose contour. And now I'm going to be bronzing my face with my all-time favorite bronzer, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I finally have a new one, so I'm just going to bronze up my entire face with it using the Morphe M177 brush. And make sure you blend it into your hairline 
when applying it on your forehead just to make it more blended. And I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush just to blend all that out and to make sure there isn't any harsh lines. And now with my Damp It Beauty Blender and a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder, I'm just going to clean up the tiniest bit on my jawline just to give my face a more chiseled look. And I'm not going to leave it there for long, so I'm just going to quickly wipe it off. I hate when this happens sometimes, like you can't wipe it off. So I'm just going to be moving on to my highlight now and for that I'm going to be using the Anastasia A23 brush and of course spraying it with my MAC Fix Plus spray. And I'm also going to be spraying some of the Fix Plus to my face. And for my highlight I'll be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sir Hollywood Eliminator. Just to lighten it up a little bit, I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. And I'm just going to be applying this Tarte blush in the shade Seduce with my Morphe M530 brush. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks starting from the top, working my way down in circular motions. Okay, so now we're back into the eyes and I'm just going to finish off the lower lash line. So I'm picking up my 226 Zoeva smudger brush and I'm going to be picking up this shade Axis. And now I'm just going to smudge it along my lower lash line. And look at the difference that that just makes. It looks so much better. My eyes are so sensitive and whenever I do my lower lash line or my waterline or anything, my eyes always get watery. And now with the brush that comes in the subculture palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade New Wave with the more tapered, dense side. And I'll just be smoking out my lower lash line. Now for the inner corner of my eye, I just sprayed my 238 Zoeva brush, just like a really small detail brush. And I'm just going to be picking up this shade Electric and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. That is electric. <laughs> It's so bright. I really like that inner corner. And I'm just going to apply a bit of the Santorini highlight to my brow bones. I'm just going to blend out that harsh line on my brow bones with my 224 Zoeva brush. Honestly, this inner corner, the shade Electric, as weird as it sounds, it's giving me like Shrek vibes because it's like so green. It looks so good though. I actually really like it. So now I'm just going to set my face with my MAC Fix Lash spray. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and I just use this Lily Lashes eyelash curler and I'm going to apply the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. But I'm only going to apply the mascara to my top lashes for now. Okay, so now just quickly off camera, I'm going to apply my Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. Okay, so now that the lashes are on, I'm just going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And now lastly is the lips. So I'm just going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner just to line my lips. And then I'm just going to fill in my lips using the Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. It's from the Vacation Collection, the four piece set. And this is in the shade Naked. Okay, so that is it for this makeup look and now going into the review for the palette. So this is just what the palette looks like. It's got that velvety feel like the Model Renaissance and that's just the back there. Personally, I don't really like this velvety feel because, I mean, it does look good but it gets so dirty. Like my Model Renaissance palette is so dirty but it is different to what other brands do. And this was just the box of it as well. It's got a photo of the palette there and then yeah, that's just the back. So overall for this palette... Personally, this is just completely honest coming from my experience with this palette. I didn't get a lot of kickback in 
my palette here's a close-up of what the palette looks like for one use and when using it as well I didn't really get any fallout on my face just a tiny bit as I showed you guys on this side but I really like this palette it worked well for me the shades that I used blended well they were super pigmented as well I actually haven't swatched this palette with my fingers so I'm just gonna quickly swatch a couple so just gonna go into oh that is so creamy okay that's fudge that was so creamy and buttery and it's so pigmented and let me swatch a dawn which is a shimmery shade that's that one there again so pigmented don't expect anything less from Anastasia and I'm gonna swatch new wave which is what I used in my crease and look at how pigmented and that's just a close-up and just look at how pigmented they are seriously Anastasia never plays games Personally, I love, love, love her eyeshadow formulas. It's just that one shade Axis that went a bit patchy when blending my crease. And it came off on the lids a little bit, but then I just fixed it up. And as you can see now, it's all fine. So it wasn't like a big issue. It just takes a bit longer to work with, I guess, compared to my other eyeshadow palettes that I own. But also, I just want to mention that like, if my palette was super powdery and had a lot of kickback, then I like would be really cautious when using it and I wouldn't like swirl my brush in it 10 times. Like I've seen all over Twitter, like heaps of people just swirling their brush in their pans and hitting like pans straight away. But like to me, if I realized that it was super powdery, I'd be like, well, like I better stop for a second and I better use this really lightly and I'd be super cautious with that. I mean, I get the point, like some people are doing it just for like the YouTube videos, reviews and that sort of thing. But like personally, I would just like not swirl my brush in it 10 times and hit pants straight away. So, and I'm not like trying to shade anyone or anything. Like I'm just like saying me for me personally. I'm really happy with how it came out. Please let me know if you want more tutorials using this palette in the comments down below. And let me know if you've got this palette and how it works for you. If yours is like really powdery or if it works fine or... Just let me know down below and also i did order mine on the release date so there were no reviews or anything on it and i got a one for you guys as well for a giveaway this is the brand new one but yes yeah, so i had no idea what to expect with it and then all of a sudden just started hearing like a lot of mixed reviews on the palette then I got a bit nervous to try it out and then I received it and then I was so excited to try it out again but I'm really happy with how my eye look turned out and the palette looked fine for me. It's not like the best palette in the world. I do want to work with more shades but I do want to mention it's probably a batch issue so that's why some people's works fine, some people's aren't as great and super powdery and whatnot. Oh uh, and also it does retail for 42 US dollars. And now I have a brand new one to give away to you guys. I bought this the exact same time I bought my eyeshadow palette and I haven't even taken this out of the bubble wrap it's like brand new not touched or anything and it's been a while since I've done a giveaway and when this was coming out I was like perfect it's a brand new launch it looked amazing so I had to pick one up for you guys as well so yeah it's just a subculture palette of course but I can see through the bubble wrap that it's got the same number as my palette so I think it's come from the same batch so if my palette's fine and then this one should be as well and hopefully it is so if you want to win this palette then just follow my instagram i'll have it here it's just underscore it's martina xo and just follow the steps on this photo that is on my instagram and it's really easy it's super simple and it is an international giveaway everyone can enter no matter where you live and just make sure if you are under 18 that you have your parental or guardian consent and that you are allowed to enter the giveaway so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked this video and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like me to film next and if you would like another video using this palette. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!